Christmas in August! It's not just for a limited time anymore. Get a bottle, get a case, get it while it's hot, when it's hot, and then chill it! It's Christmas in August! Are you a daughter, old biddy? You have a Yule log up your ass? No, I'm trying to get it out of my ass! And this deal's for you, Christmas in August. Hello, and welcome to Random Movie Time. Boy, it's sure nice to be sitting here by the fire, drinking our nice Christmas hot cocoa, huh, Shannon? Sure is. Wait a second, it's August. It's 33 degrees Celsius outside. Yes, it is, but we're reviewing an ice wine Christmas. Today we're reviewing the 2021 Lifetime movie, An Ice Wine Christmas. Directed by Jill Carter, starring Rosalind Sanchez and Lyric Bent. This is a story of a woman from Philadelphia who works as a... What does she work as, anyway? Sommelier. A sommelier. And she goes to help her family's business in Evergreen, New York, a small town where they specialize in ice wine. And it's... Uh, Lifetime Christmas movie, so you know there's uh, adventure and romance in the air. All right, well, what did you think of this movie, Shannon? Well, I thought it was god-awful. It was, um, I have to say, though there is a redeeming quality, for me that was the music. The music was quite good. They had It was like a jazzy soundtrack, which I like. They, you know, they didn't try to modernize it with cheesy, awful pop Christmas music. Uh, some pop Christmas music is good, of course, but, you know, it was really... That that made it really nice. That, that was one benefit to it. I think that was the only benefit to it. I mean, it was starring Rosalind Sanchez, who, to me, is just, you know, the Puerto Rican Sandra Bullock... And, uh, it was, uh, the acting was pretty bad. Uh, it was like high school, or if you went to see a high school musical, and they're just, the director is like, okay, we're gonna do blocking today. Now, basic acting rules, don't move when you're talking. <laughs> and if you're gonna move, first move and then talk, or talk and move. But you can't do both at once. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> so that was pretty awful. The editing was brutal. <laughs> there was one scene where they were um, they were in the middle of the main character was in the middle of a conversation with her godfather in the movie, and they were they were trying to make it like a voiceover where you know you would see the town and make it all atmospheric but it just looked like a big it just looked like a mistake it just looked like they're like wait a second they cut away from the scene too soon that was pretty awful uh i don't know what else to say other than it was just poorly done bad acting awful script oh yeah and the the editing again it was just like boom 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 it was just like cut 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 it was like, hi, I'm Tommy. Hi, I'm Shannon. Well, nice to meet you. Blah, blah, blah. No breaths. <laughs> it was like watching a YouTube video. <laughs> um, it wasn't like watching a Christmas movie, that's for sure. Or a movie at all. And even though it was short, it was like an hour and a half or something. Mm -hmm, a little less, I think. It felt like it, it felt like it was three hours long. <laughs> it was terrible. There we go. That's my take on it. Tell me, what do you think? Yeah, this isn't my cup of tea or hot cocoa either, by any stretch. Um, I will say that the zippy editing actually helped for me. It helped it make it helped make it feel like it was going a little bit faster than these sorts of movies usually do. Um, it didn't feel to me like it was dragging, so I appreciated that. And it was an unusual take for one of these sort of hallmark 
lifetime movies, you know, where, you know, it's it's not just all these blonde smiling people. It was, you know, uh, the two leads were, well, one was Puerto Rican and one was African American. So that was, it was kind of, it, it was a change from those kinds of movies a little bit at least, you know, it was kind of a weird setup also to have like, you know, she's a Somali and she's working on a, a vineyard where they make ice wine and all that, you know, it wasn't just the typical, you know, divorcee coming back to town and she's had a lot of problems with her sister and blah, 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 like they always do in those movies. So at least it was like somewhat original, but um, in every other way, it was pretty incompetent. I, yeah, I agree about the acting. The acting wasn't so good. I don't think the... Uh, the way the movie looked was particularly good. Um, I thought it did have uh, some not bad music, as you were saying. At least the Christmas music wasn't cheesy. So uh, even though it's not my thing, if this sort of movie is your thing, then maybe it might work for you. So uh, I know, uh, you know, these movies are very popular and a lot of people like them. I don't. It's never been my thing. But if you like that kind of movie, this one is slightly different and maybe slightly more unusual than most in that genre so yeah but you know i have seen hallmark movies like mm -hmm. i'm not a big fan of christmas movie like those sorts of christmas movies either mm -hmm. but i've seen a lot of those types of christmas movies that are well executed mm -hmm. this one is not well executed it's clumsy mm -hmm. awkward you know, it's, yeah, well, I mean, like Tommy said, if you like those sorts, give it a try. But I have seen ones that are better and you probably won't have to wait. You'll probably don't have to worry about it until Christmas time anyway. I have no idea why a Christmas movie popped up on our random feed. <laughs> That's <laughs> random movies for you. I know, but don't they usually put them on in like October or something? No, they should. <laughs> anyway. Well, how many uh, bottles of ice wine would you give this movie? Holy schmoly. You know what? I hate, I, I hate to give it any bottles of ice wine because I want to keep them all for myself. But I'll give it one for the music. One bottle of ice wine for the music. What about you, Tommy? Uh, I'll be generous and give it one and a half. Just because, you know, I think part of my problem with this movie is just my extreme bias against this kind of movie. And I think that if I did like this kind of movie, that I might like it better. Uh, just as, you know, as I said, because it's a bit original and I feel that it was zippy enough that it seems to fly by a little bit faster than most of those movies do, to me anyway. Uh, so, yeah... One and a half bottles of ice wine, but not a drop more. <laughs> well, there you have it. And I guess we'll see you next time on Random, Random Movie, Movie Time. time.